swim. So let me tell y'all about swim. So basically, you're gonna wake up, everybody's gonna get ready for swim, you know, grab your towels, your suit, your bathing suit that they issued to you in the beginning. Go you know, march down there. March March it was about um, that shit was like at least a 25 minute walk. I ain't gonna hold you. At least a tw at least 20 minute walk across the base. You gonna walk all the way down to the swim with your division, singing. Yeah, we're going to swim today. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Or it's gonna be that person. You are gonna be that person. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm a fail today because that was me. Like, oh, I can't do this. I can't even swim. So you get to swim. You sit down. They give you like a video. They're gonna show you like visually show you in the video like. This is what you need to do when you get in the water. Even if you can't swim, watch this video, visualize, get in there and do it. That's basically what they expect. They wanted you to look at it and do it. But that's just not how it works when you can't swim. <laughs> that's not how it works. So I watched it and I tried to take it in. I'm like, okay, it made it look easy. Maybe I could do it. So then they're going to be like, everyone's going to go change out and everyone's going to sit together. You can have your brief give you like a little brief before everybody goes so basically after the brief they're gonna be like everybody who can't swim raise your hand you're gonna be quick too you think they're gonna put you in a baby pool because there's like a little baby pool baby everybody's seen it do you think they're gonna bring you over there oh yeah i can't swim yeah all right come line up y'all y'all when I say I thought I was not going to have to go and get in that big jump off that thing. I had to jump off a 10, 10 foot tower. I thought I wasn't going to jump. I don't know why I thought that. Because baby, you actually jumping first. You jumping first. So. Everybody, everybody who couldn't swim. So we all looking at each other like, what? what? Like. Wait, we're, we're jumping. We, we just told you we can't swim. So they're going to have you climb up the ladder. You're going to be the first ones. All the people that can't swim, they're looking at you. I'm like, yep, yeah, no one's got to turn. No, everybody's watching you. Climb up the ladder. And then they're going to, it's, it's time. Like, there's no going back. Like, there's, there's no going back. You're jumping, baby. You're jumping. You're jumping. So I get up there. You know, I'm scared. I'm like, I can't swim, but beforehand, before boot camp, this was like the best thing that I ever did. Before I went to boot camp, I jumped into eight, eight feet, eight feet of water, because I wanted to get a feel. Even if you can't do it, I'm, this is like the best that I can give you. Have someone push you in that water, because it's really, it's really not that bad. I know it's scary, but it's not that bad. Have someone push you in, and you, you can get that feel on how to bring yourself back up. Like, like you know you. It just it helps you because now when you're time to jump in the 10 foot, you're not going to panic all in the water. You're going to bring yourself back up. You know how to relax at that part. But once you get to that part in boot camp and you still don't know how to swim, but you relax, they're, they're still going to pull you out. Ooh, you're still going to have to. Now this is the hard part. Now you fail. Everybody else is done. They're on the second part and you fail. So basically you're, you're going to the back. You're drawing off. You're done for the day. You didn't pass. And you can't. You cannot finish boot camp without passing your swim. So you're going to go back to the room, dry off, put your clothes on. Everybody else is still out there finishing up. So you're going to wait until everybody is done. And then you're going to be sitting in the, in the back. Like this. While everyone's coming back, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was so much fun. And then you're like, like I just literally get so mad. But I can't be mad at myself because I don't know how to swim. So, you know, I had hope though. I had hope. I thought they was gonna, you know, they teach me physically, you know, get in the water, show me what to do. No, mm -mm. I mean, this, this is the worst part. This is where boot camp crashes for people who cannot swim. Like, this is where everything takes a turn. Because at first you're, you're going through and you're like, you know, I can put up with this, I can put up with this. But swim takes a toll on you. Like, I don't know, it took a toll on me. I don't know about everybody else, but I could not swim. I wasn't scared of the water. I just couldn't figure out the the ethic. I couldn't sw figure out how to get it. You know, I thought swimming, you get in, hold your breath. Mm -mm. That's like your worst mistake, getting in. The, that's your worst mistake. 
So basically, when you don't pack swim, you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back to swim two days, two days a week. Two days a week, I, I don't know, why am I on fire? You're gonna go back to swim two times every day. You're gonna go in the morning, early, you're gonna go early, you're gonna eat too. You have to eat too, that's like a requirement boot camp. You have to eat all your meals. You can go later, you can go to the galley and not eat your meal, but you have to go to the galley in the morning, you have to eat. So, if you like skip out on going to the galley in the morning and you know you have swim, you're not going to swim. Like that's how serious it is. So you're gonna go, they're gonna wake you up, swimmers, swimmers, swimmers. Oh wait, and some days they won't wake you up. They, they shouldn't, they're gonna trust you eventually. If you haven't passed near the like three week span, they're still gonna trust you now. Okay, you're gonna wake up. You're gonna get yourself ready for swim and then they'll be there to send you off. But you should be up on your own to go eat. Cause that's, that's on you now. Like everyone's past that. Now they're focused on everybody else doing other stuff and you got yourself and you're gonna go past swim. So those two days to two, two times out of the day you're gonna go to swim and it's gonna be stressful because you're everyone in your division has like 80 people there'll probably be like for me there was like at least 10 or 15 people that failed the day that i failed initial the initial swim so everyone's gonna march down together and let me tell you if you happen to be that short person or that short person that just can't um but in the back, yeah, you're going in the front booth and you're gonna march and sing for everybody. We were prepared for that, cause I had to do that. And I hated it, but I did it. Cause there's no, there's no getting out of it. You can't say, I don't wanna do it. When the senior chief is in front of you and he's like, you're gonna be the leader. You can't be like, no, senior. Like, no, that's, you lost your mind. So the senior told me to do it, I did it. And I, I was so nervous, y'all. I am a shy person. I do not talk in front of people. So, I had to leave them, lead them. Everybody's laughing. And when we marched down there, you know, people was talking about you. If someone in the line thought I was gonna have something to say, just get us a swim, shut up. Let's get there. So we get the swim, you know, and there's you're not the only people. So there's a whole bunch of other divisions on the beach with you. So other people that, a whole bunch of people, you're gonna know, you're gonna see all the people. Like as y'all start getting to that area where the swim uh, pool is, there's like a whole bunch of people coming too, but that that did not pass the swim, so you're not even alone. There'd be people that have been there longer than you, still trying to swim. So it's just like they they missed their graduations already. They like they've been there, still trying to learn how to swim, and it's really just up to you to really take in what they're saying. And if y'all want more um, tips on how to swim because you don't know how yet, just comment and I'll I'll let y'all know um, how to do that or some tips I took in from not knowing how to swim. Mm, yeah, so you're gonna get there, you're gonna retry. They're gonna start you off in the kiddie pool and you're gonna go across the kiddie pool and then you're gonna go back across the kiddie pool and you're gonna get out of the kiddie pool. And there are days where they'll just let you go across the kiddie pool and you're done and then you're gonna go to the second part, the five foot, and you're gonna go across that pool get out of that pool, go across that pool again, come back out that pool, and then you pass. And then you're gonna go to the tower again. The 10 foot tower you pass, you failed the initial swim. You're gonna jump off of there. And you're gonna go in a little circle. And I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna sweep this, not little, I ain't gonna hold you. You're gonna go all the way down. You're gonna make a little turn. And there's gonna be someone in the water with you this time. Like they're just, you know, they're keeping you sane basically. And you're gonna go all the way out and then you pass. Then you pass, but you're gonna walk in there and you're gonna see that tower and it's gonna it's gonna eat you alive. You're gonna be like, I'm never gonna get it. But when you think negative, you'll never get it. I had to learn it the hard way. I thought negative for a long time, y'all. I was just like, I'm never gonna get this. Like I I wanted to go home so many times with boot camp, but you just there's no going home. You signed up for this, there's no going home. Mm -mm, unless you're hurt, you're not going home. They will not hear you out. You're saying you're gonna pass the swim and you're gonna get through it and they were right you just gotta trust yourself and really listen to what they think so if you go to swim and don't know how baby listen to me you will do it if i could do it you will do it um yeah so yeah i, I passed swim like the for the last two weeks of boot camp i was probably like the second to last person there's one more person that passed on the last day in my division usually that happens often like 
you gotta think, what, how? How did they pass the last day? I don't know. They just somehow magically like, hey, I wanna pass one today. Pass, last day. Like, hey, that's basically what happened to me. One day I just went to swim. I already went so many times. I had so many swim lessons. It's like, it's, all right, it's about time that it, it came on in my head. Like, okay, let's, let's swim today. And that's what happened. I went through the kiddie pool, went through the second pool, back across the second pool, to the big pool, made it all the way around. And I'm like, dang, you really did that. And it was easy. It's just really, yeah, mental and listening. Like, you really have to take in what they tell you. And don't give up. If you give up, if you keep giving up, you're never going to get it. Giving up is not going to help you. Uh, yeah, y'all. Uh, next evolution, what's next after this one? After this one, I think it was, I really headed towards a uh, firefighting for some reason. But I don't know, I don't think it was firefighting. It had to be the time and night. Like, you're going to learn how to pull a boat in port and out of port. But that part's not hard. Everyone does it together. You're going to have a moment where you're doing it alone. But listen, trust me. If you could do everything from the beginning, folding all that stuff, this shouldn't be a big mental challenge. You, you could do it. It's all about that following instructions, listening to basic instructions, and you're doing what they said, exactly how they said, when they said, and you'll be fine. They teach you that, day one. Follow instructions, simple. Uh, then they added this firefighting, and the firefighting, oh. Like I said, don't, don't let me scare you. Firefighting is not that bad. Follow directions, you'll be fine. 80 other people doing it with you, and you will get it. If I could do it, y'all could do it. I'm going to keep saying that because I'm, I'm not the smartest person. <laughs> I'm a normal human being. So if I can do it, y'all could do it too. Uh, but yeah, firefighting is just a lot of putting on equipment, taking off equipment, putting it on as they said. Although they show, they show you how to put it on. So if you're watching, there's other people in front of you, around you. They're putting on the same stuff you're putting on. So you can look around if you have to. Do what you got to do. Don't be the person that just doesn't get it for some, somehow doesn't get it when there's 70 people doing the same thing you, you got a whole other people there's someone next to you tap their shoulder hey can you help me because that's what i did and i made it so don't be fine keep scratching my tattoo i know y'all it's like a little crackhead <laughs> but it's not that bad it's just you know pet shoot don't scratch um yeah that bar fighting what's next i don't know y'all Boot camp is like once you get finished with boot camp, but well not even finished. Once you get to like the fourth week, some of that stuff in the beginning is going to be a blur. Like you don't want to do so much, you can't remember. So if I'm not remembering stuff, cut me some slack because boot camp is a lot. It is a lot. I'm so sorry. I know, I know a lot of people also have the same problem. When you finish boot camp, it's like they gave you a shot or something and you erased half of your memory from the beginning because. Some of that is a blur. <laughs> Who can't went by? Like it, sometimes it feels like it's taking forever. The next thing you know, you're in the fifth week and you're like, whoa. You're gonna see the people who just got there in the same stuff that you was wearing in the beginning. You're like, dang, I remember when I wore that. I remember when we were over there. Yeah. But you're gonna be happy that you're not there no more. And then yeah, y'all gonna get fit. Y'all gonna do some runs. And you're running, 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 running. That's kind of the hard part, but I think I'm gonna stop right here. This video is becoming long, it's long. And I know y'all don't wanna watch it forever, but um, I think I answered enough. Boot camp is a mental and a physical challenge that you can do, that you can do, if I can do, you can do it. Just don't give up. That's Literally, that should all be in your head most of the time. Don't give up. I got this. They're not here to have me fail. They're here to have me succeed. You follow directions. Do what they say. When they say. How they say. Oh, literally, just as they say. And you will be fine. Bye, son.